I look for what I describe as uh, like kind of a perfect arc uh, in in the sound. Beefy but clean, uh, low end. You know, doesn't kind of fuzz out or woof out down there. Uh, punchy mid range. Doesn't hurt the ear. And you know the high end kind of to have that same quality, like really clear, clean, and not piercing. I really like the guitar to sound like the guitar. A little delay, a little reverb, it's pretty much it for me. Without a good sound, there's, it's very difficult to take the first step forward, so it's completely essential in, in everything that I do. I, mean, I, I will work on a tone before I do anything. And again, if I don't have really what I want, or what I would say what I need, it makes it very difficult to do, you know, do my thing. I was approached by someone from Roland about the development of the tone capsule, and uh, Eric Johnson had already uh, designed one, and so they showed me a video uh, on his, um, you know, working on the tone capsule with them and then demonstrating it. And I thought, you know, I mean, Eric's one of the tone guys, you know, so if, if Eric is interested in this, then I'll take a look at it too, you know. We sat and, and uh, worked on it, talked about it, and you know, uh, I played through the amps and played through Eric's capsule and decided to take it a little further. So much good work had already been done on it, I was really surprised at how akin to what I'm used to was already there. So I've been playing through the Dumble Overdrive Special for many, many years, and I, I understood even through Alexander Dumble, he said to me, it'll get there. Solid state technology will get there. I was shocked to hear him say that, you know. The clarity, you know, kind of the salient issue for me in any case, I like to hear just a, a straight sound, a very true sound. Th this is incredibly, uh, you know, close to how I want to hear the guitar. So I'm impressed with the technology, you know? The one uh, element that is uh, unique here is that it's solid state technology. And um, I'm, I've been playing through tube amplifiers all my life. Is it is incredibly, you know, close to um, vacuum tube technology. So to think that, you know, Roland has come up with something that is uh, as convincing as this, it's pretty impressive.